If you have made the list, check it twice. Hello everyone, I'm Cal Matthews, I'm head of North Pole Travel here. Look, as you can see, it's a very hectic time of year and well, apparently some kids have been saying that there's no way Santa can travel all the way around the world, deliver all the presents in just one night. Well, guess what guys, he can. I've seen him do it. For the first time in department history, I'm gonna show you the maths behind this incredible journey. Let's look at some numbers. Right, so, about 30% of the world's population are kids. And if we take into account different religions and different traditions, then the big boss man has present duties for about 700 million children. But let's not forget about those on the naughty list. So, uh, let's readjust that number. Thank you. Now, let's say on average there are two and a half kids per home. This leaves Santa with a meagre 280 million homes. Now, Father C does this while all of us are asleep, so it gives him about eight hours of darkness to make the journey, right? Wrong. You're forgetting about Time zones. You see, the world is split into 24 broad time zones, each an hour apart. Each year I have Santa start in the east in Tonga and finish over in the west in Hawaii, giving him a cruisy 32 hours of darkness to make his deliveries. Okay, so it's my job to get him from here all the way around to over here in the shortest possible route. Now, usually that's about five million kilometers. So if we do a bit of maths and carry the one, then Santa needs to travel at about 156,256 kilometers per hour or 43 kilometers per second. Phew. That is much faster than any human car or jet and it sits at about 143 times the speed of sound. Which brings us to our first problem. You see, when something goes faster than the speed of sound, yeah, it can create a massive noise. This is known as a sonic boom. And with Santa slowing down and speeding up all night, you're gonna hear a lot of booms. Santa? No. Instead, every year I equip Mr. C's sleigh with this sort of sleigh silencer to minimise the booms. But then we run into our next problem, and that's acceleration. See, Santa has to slow down and speed up to ridiculous speeds about 200 million times, and that creates a lot of force. So, you know the feeling when you take off really fast in your car or you zoom down a roller coaster? Well, that's something known as gravitational force or G force. And it can make us feel really heavy. When we're standing on Earth, well, that's the equivalent of 1G. Zooming down a roller coaster is about 3Gs. Claw's dog going from zero to 156,250 kilometers per hour in less than a second? Well, that's more than 44,000 Gs of force. The equivalent of 10 elephants stacked on top of him. Then again, don't worry, I've got a workaround. To safely speed up and slow down, I give the big boss man and all the reindeer pressurized suits to travel in, to stop all the force getting to him. Yes, all right, I can already hear you screaming at the back. What about, what about air resistance? Yes, let me explain. When objects start moving really fast through space, they start to heat up due to the friction from the air. Think of a meteor hurtling towards Earth. At this sort of speed, plus the estimated 500 million kilograms of presence he's towing, 
Donna, Prancer, Rudolph, and Santa will all simply burn up. So my solution, a heat shield. Heat shields are designed to absorb or reflect heat, and you'll usually see them on the front of a lot of NASA's space shuttles. And if it's good enough for NASA, well, it's good enough for Santa. It's the office motto. Now, this is the way we did things for thousands of years, and it, it worked great. Then, a hundred years ago, North Pole travel changed. Big time. In 1916, a man by the name of Albert Einstein proposed the theory of relativity. His theory said that the faster things move through space, the more time slows down. Yeah, I, I remember Santa said he caught up with Albert one day over a glass of milk to talk about the theory. And Albert said, Santa, if you put this into practice, I promise I will grow a big, bushy moustache. Basically, since 1916, Santa's used his advanced knowledge of theoretical physics to stretch time like a rubber band. These days, he travels close to the speed of light, stretching time to allow himself months to deliver the presents, while here on Earth, only a few minutes pass. <sighs> Anyway, I think I've divulged far too many secrets. Just know that equipped with me, some cookies and milk, and a firm dose of Einstein's theory of relativity, Santa's ready to deliver Christmas this year and every year. Hey legends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, why don't you hit subscribe? Make sure you don't miss anything we put out.